Hello, I'm Chris McLean, lead pastor at Shady Grove United Methodist Church in Short Pump, Virginia. It is my joy to be with you for this Tuesday Daily. We're going to continue our series where we explore the Real Discipleship Survey put together by AMC3 Coaching. And in this survey, they take six areas of Christian faith and explore four stages of development in each of those. We've begun looking at the area of worship, and today we're in the second stage of worship, which is beginning. If you are a person who's beginning in worship, a sentence that might be true for you sounds like this. I attend worship regularly, but I'm beginning to realize that there's more to worship than just Sunday morning, that it's something that I do daily. As we explore this topic, I want to introduce you to an important person in my life, my mom. My mom's name is Denise, and here she is. Hi, mom. Hi. All right. Welcome to Shady Grove, mom. As we get started, um, I wanted to just touch base with how the sentence was true for me. And the sentence that I attend church regularly, but I realize there's got to be more to attending to God. Um, and that that more happens every day. That happened for me when I started going to church regularly with you, somewhere in junior high or high school time. You made church a priority and you invited me to come with you. And I began to wonder what brought you to that decision. Well, I had been going to church most of my life. And after we moved to Virginia Beach from another part of the Tidewater area, I was going through a number of changes uh, in my life. I was changing jobs and I had a new baby and a lot of things. And after we moved to Virginia Beach, somehow I never got started with a new church. And after a while, I was really missing it. And um, Chris was old enough to go with me. So, uh, so we started going together on a regular basis. So I remember that first Sunday in detail because it was really important to me. Uh, we sat in an area to the left as we walked in. I remember it being mostly toward the back. Uh, so I guess we got started off as Good Methodist sitting mostly in the back. And I was following very carefully the bulletin, feeling like I was doing a good job. I don't know why I needed to feel successful in worship, but it did feel important. And then we got three quarters of the way through and everybody started saying this prayer together. Um, I didn't know what they were doing. I just know they were standing up and all saying the same words and I couldn't understand them. Their voices were just echoing. And I looked at you confused and you helped me. You showed me in the hymnal that they were all saying something called the Lord's Prayer. It was something I could learn. So that took me from feeling alienated for just a moment to feeling like I could be in that moment. How did you know it was in there? Well, I've been in the choir at a number of, of churches in my life. So I was well aware that a number of uh, parts of the liturgy were actually in the in the hymnal, the prayers and uh, the creeds and that sort of thing. So I was used to looking for things that I didn't have completely memorized there. Well, it made a big difference for me. And I'm glad you did that. But then you did more than that. You didn't just go to Sunday worship very early in going back to church. You started getting involved in some things. We ended up in chancel choir and mission trips and all kinds of things. But the first thing we did was bell choir. Um, and I went because you invited me. But why did you go? Well, I had, I had been in church choirs before. And I don't think any of those churches that I remember had bell choirs. And this was new and intriguing to me. And I always loved music. And I thought I would develop a new skill. Well, we developed that skill together and we ended up playing right next to the associate pastor in the bell choir. And so that was really special also to have that connection with her. Uh, so it was an exciting time. And when we came home, um, usually from worship, but sometimes from bell choir, um, we'd be extra naughty. But when we came home uh, from church, we made a stop on the way. It was our tradition. We would process life and uh, what we heard in the sermon together at our favorite spot. Hardee's on yep. Shore Drive, and it was over biscuits and iced tea for you and coffee for me. Yep, yep. Uh, that was so important. I don't think you planned it, but you ended up being my faith mentor. And one of the things we learned about how people grow in faith is that people got get through that beginning stage that I was in because some mentor has helped them along, and I want to thank you for being that mentor for me. And uh, 
I found a scripture that I thought uh, reminded me of that. It's Luke 24, 13 through 15a. It says, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking to each other about all these things that had happened. But I don't think they had biscuits and tea. It says, while they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them. And I do think that Jesus made some appearances um, in a manner of speaking at Hardy's because of the time that you shared with me. So thank you for that. And to everybody else at Shady Grove, I do want to say, friends, if you feel um, a call to be a mentor, call the church office. We'll get you on a list. And if you feel like you would benefit from having somebody to journey with, again, contact the church office. We're going to collect these lists and start matching folks up. It will be a gift to you. It certainly has been to me. And maybe you already have a built-in mentor like your own mom or dad or sister, brother, somebody. Um, but God gives us a gift in one another. As we wrap up, hey mom, why don't we pray? Gracious God, we thank you for the way that you journey with us and you give us one another for the journey. You make it safe to begin with you, to explore and make connections with you and one another. And somehow we are all made stronger, more humble, more glad, more energetic, more joyful for the journey. So we give you thanks for this. Amen.